Nice. <laughs> but that's actually a good right, idea, though. So, where's the dog? The dog's dead. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to dig that duck. We're gonna have to dig this motherfucker out. <laughs> Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Alright. That's pretty nice to have a fountain outside the house. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I word. We gonna go Cerebus well, style? Cerebus? Cerebrus? I forgot how the Resident Evil dog is pronounced. <sighs> Stay away. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Ah, come on. It ain't like that. I'm just trying to protect you. Oh, God, the smell. Mm. Must have belonged to someone. Our dog's affected, too? Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't get it off. Oh, oh okay. God! That is not cool. Jesus. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. <laughs> it's just the smell. No, you just <laughs> saw that <laughs> shit. <laughs> you saw that shit's head come off. See, you don't need to be seeing shit like that. Damn, you're gonna be scarred for life if you see some shit like that, Clementine. Now, let me call. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Come on, it ain't that bad. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Alright, 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 alright. Right, right. Oh, that shit was nasty. Right, let's use a star collar. It goes nothing. Wow. Yes. I literally God never heard damn. of that. <laughs> God damn. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. I wouldn't trust it. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. We all know we're just gonna send Clementine in there again. It's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Yep, there it is. Ah, oh, shit. Clem, are you okay? Say something! She just haste molded in that shit! You can't do that again, though. Ta-da! Oh, my God. You know? Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I, know. I feel you, okay, but... Good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we work. maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like Does that. everybody in this world get up like that by pushing off their leg? Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Word, don't do that shit. You can't just be doing that shit by yourself like that. <laughs> I want to yell at her. Don't you ever do that shit to me. <laughs> oh, No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Oh, they do go out. Or do they? I don't know, you would never fucking be able to tell. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. <laughs> that there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that I didn't know. Nah, I ain't with gonna lie to nobody. I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Jesus Christ, crawl out of my ass about the a little damn bit. radio. You know what I'm saying? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? Somebody playing games, man. Does anything make any more? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks They bought that bullshit. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, 
Seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason Great to get on line. a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Uh, we need to go find Chuck. Word! Let's go get Chuck! Sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. You really think there's a haste line towards that shit? Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, it's like a mansion. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door. Understand? Yeah, I got okay. you. I can tell that's a potential fuck up. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Kristen Omid until I get back, okay? Ah, uh, she wants to help. I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown ups, okay? <laughs> okay. Nah, yeah, you just gotta be careful with shit. You gotta check things out first. Can't just be going up in that shit. Damn, I gotta check every single door. What a mansion! Let's see, dog food. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Yeah, alright, let me not fuck around and just check everything. Okay. Yeah, let me let me check everything first. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. What was it? Oh, that's the backyard door. I apologize. Okay. No, oh, fuck the whiskey. I don't want to look at the table. God damn. There's another backyard door that's upstairs. Well, can I find the door? Thank you. clear in here. Alright. Got the door in the corner. Not looking at anything else. Two doors in this room. There we go. Nothing hiding in here. There's a There's one more to check. A whole room just for a bathroom and a sink like that? I mean a toilet and a sink? Well, I mean, I understand where else would it go, but shit, at the same time. Seems a little bit too much. Here we go. Just open one door. Just one door. Oh, Damn. oh shit! Oh, this, what happened? Scared the shit out of me. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Alright, so we got that out the way. Place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while, at least until it quiets down outside. Good, thanks. Finally, not being a is he dick. okay? Yeah, no, but I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is Bro. it? What does he want? We want an answer! <laughs> Go ahead, Claire. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Seriously. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Oh, shit. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Ah, uh, fucking... Stay here. Kenny's fucking crapping out already. 
Spiky, spike. Oh no, not even. Can he's fucking losing his shit already? Look at this. Kenny. Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh. Damn. Damn. Kind of looks like duck, don't he? He does a little older. What the hell happened to him? Look like he starved to death before he even died. Yes, he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. Sir, the dude's all bone. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Nah, man. You gotta do it at some point. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. Yeah, you gotta be strong no, at this point just... right now. Oh, God. I don't wanna give him a gun. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he stopped. <laughs> you can curse thump the shit out of this kid. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do it. Kenny's gonna do this shit. But nah, Kenny, you gotta do it, man. Empty water bottle. All that day. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Yeah, that's why it's important. You gotta move out. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. What a way to live. What a way to die. Yeah, you gotta. That's why you can't stay in the same place for too long. If your food situation is looking just a little bit dire, like it could be dire in a few days or even a week or something, you gotta start making plans to move the fuck out of there before it's too late. Look, man, you need to man up and do this shit. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. You have to. You gotta move on from this. I know. Nah, he has to. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Like, by itself is not a big deal. But it's, yeah, exactly. It's a help to Kenny. Kenny needs to get out of this slump that he's in. Losing his wife and kid. Of course, I know that shit ain't easy. But this is like the, this is him. I'm trying to help him get out of this slump. Can't keep helping somebody who really don't think who doesn't want to help themselves. There you go. You had to do it. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Damn, man, this dude is all skin and bones. Jesus Christ. What did his parents... Well, his parents must have gotten bit. Zombie apocalypse stuff. This stuff ain't no joke. Any type of apocalypse. That shit is real, man.
they got like these these uh, playgrounds for them, like these huge plots of land dedicated to like that type of stuff, like surviving the zombie apocalypse and all that. And that's all fun, I'm sure, and stuff. But if it were to really happen, that's, that's a whole different story. episode so far. Mm -hmm. 